Hey, what's up everybody? Mark here. I'm going to do a really quick tutorial for Adobe Illustrator to show you how to do an offset path around something like a name. And for this example, I'm going to use my dog's name. Uh, and of course, uh, just to set the atmosphere, he and his sister Luna are in the background fighting. So this will be a lot of fun if they make noise. So I'm going to type his name in whatever font I want. His name is Jagger. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. And we're going to right click after selecting Jagger and go to create outlines so that we can make it not a font, but shapes instead. So now it's uh, shapes. Then we're going to go to object path and offset path, just like this. And we're going to choose, don't worry about the fact that it's filled in. We'll fix that in a second. We'll choose the amount of offset we want. We're going to do a quarter inch. You can do whatever you prefer. Hit OK. And now we're going to turn off the fill here by just hitting this none option. And then we'll turn on the outside to maybe a one point stroke there. We're almost done here. And now all we need to do is select this and right click and ungroup so that we can select all of these outline pieces at the same time. I'll just shift click all the different shapes there so that I can drag this off and I have it separated. Once I've got all these selected, I just go to Pathfinder Unite, and it unites it all to one shape, and there you are. We're done um, with that. Now, I can go ahead and select, let me do this. I'll select all of this and then shift-click the outline so I just have the name Jagger. I'm going to group them together with Command-J on a Mac. And so now I've got these two uh, grouped uh, individually, both uh, the outline and then Jagger. And if you want to, you can add, if this is a keychain, for example, you can add a hole to it. You could add a, a hole over here. So let's do that real quick as part of this tutorial. I'll go to these shape options here and the ellipse tool. And I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to drag out a circle. Maybe like that, right? I'm not worried that it's filled. I can go up here to stroke and go one point stroke and then no fill like that if I want. And then now I can select both this one and the outline and go to Pathfinder Unite again. And now I've made a little bubble there and I can just take another circle by holding shift and I can put a ring inside that and we can place that kind of wherever we want. And it works to be just right there. If you want to, you can select both the outline and that ring, that circle, and go to Pathfinder minus front and it will punch it out so it'll actually be part of this. But you can do that if you want to or not. And that's how you make a, uh, some text with an offset path.